guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. I was very tempted to skip today or and just like completely like discontinue Vlogmas. Like that's how close I was today. So this morning I ended up taking my camera with me and just as when I was about to vlog, it turns out I did not have my memory card. I left it in my apartment. So I was like, okay, I'll vlog on my phone. But my phone, ha I don't know, my phone does, sometimes the sound won't show up in my phone, like, it'll, like, just cut out at random times, which is so freaking annoying, so, like, okay, whatever, and, and I was honestly in the worst mood, like, for most of the day, it had nothing to do with work, honestly, like, working kind of is what kind of distracted me from the bad and all that, like, which is, like, huge because my last job I was just so stressed all the time and I was stressed about work all my days off like I it felt like I completely lost myself but yeah but thankfully like but um, but thankfully this job this job that I have now is so much better for my mental health and I am thankful for that so god bless but yeah just vlogmas has been stressing me out and I don't know sometimes and here's the thing about me like I commit to things and I try so hard to make things work like even if it even if it does cost me my mental health I'm not saying that I'm going to discontinue vlogmas I'm definitely going to keep going but like I'm just telling you where I'm at and I was thinking about this when I was walking back to my apartment tonight I think definitely my last job is like the perfect example of this so I was so I had this I've actually had this job technically since college and after graduation I had the chance to potentially get promoted and I wanted this promotion so freaking badly like so bad like and I didn't want anything else like I did not want to leave the company like I wanted to stay I wanted to grow I wanted it so badly so yeah so when I moved to San Diego I tried I tried to get the promotion and unfortunately I didn't get it so I kept working my, working my butt and then I finally got it about six months in and it was what I wanted and I don't know and I was I definitely was excited to get the promotion but I I don't know I didn't really completely realize what what my new position would entail almost I mean, it was great that I got to be full-time making more money. Like, that was great, but I don't know. But, like, I don't know. I just, I don't want, I don't want to be bashing on my, on my last job. I still, I still, have, I don't know. I still have a love for it. It still has a place in my heart, but it's just, like, the position I was in, personally. And, I don't know. I just wasn't happy. I was stressed out. I was tired all the time. My hours were weird, which I kind of expected, but, like, when you're full time, it gets to you. So yeah, I was stressed out. I was trying so, so hard to make it work. And to the point it was costing me my mental health. And I was like constantly worrying about work on my day off. Like it was so unhealthy. And like I would be, and this is why I lost my emotional connection to dance. Cause I was just so consumed with work. Like, I had no energy. Like, literally, on my days off, I would be sitting at home watching TV all day. Like, like it sucked the life out of me. And thankfully, like, I was finally able to actually leave. And I didn't want to, but, like, honestly, like, leaving this job was the best thing for me. Again, I'm not trying to bash it. It was just what worked for me. And honestly, like... I was glad to get the promotion. I'm glad I got to experience, but at the same time, it just wasn't the right fit for me. Like I wasn't the right fit for it. And then I think it was like a couple days later on my day off, I was, I was at dance and all that. I was like, you know what? Why don't I just like take a little bit of time off? I've been good about saving money. And that's actually how I came up with this, with my series for researching the soul. And at the time I didn't really know what exactly I wanted to do with that. And Back then, I thought about maybe getting a part-time job and all that, and I think I talked about this in the first video of this series, but my therapist actually suggested to completely embrace unemployment, which sounded scary, but 
However, I was actually really good about saving my money. So I actually ended up doing that. Like, take time to decide, like, what new jobs I might want to do. Because, like, I had just gotten a degree maybe a year ago. And, by the way, I major in psychology. And, like, there's a lot you can do with psychology. And I think for me, it's just, like, the direction I'm going into is, like, applied psychology. So, like, wherever I go, like, I can... I can still use it. I still also feel like I'm using it. So, yeah, so I spent like a while like figuring out like what other jobs I might want, all that, like really taking time to think about it instead of just like throwing out my resume, which is something I definitely did like the first few days after I decided to quit my last job. And then one, and then I've been wanting to get back into dance. Like, I think at the time I was taking class like maybe once a week. And Back at home, like, the most I'd be taking class would be, like, two to three times a week. Like, only taking, like, one class. So, I, I, my goal was to go full in, and at the time, I wanted to teach dance. I, I mean, I still kind of do, but, like, I'd honestly rather wait a little bit. But, yeah. So, I, like, took time, like, they say, like, finding a job is a full-time job, but I have decided to make it a part-time job. So, part-time job hunting, part-time filming, and part-time getting back into dance. Like, it, honestly, getting back into dance felt like a job in itself. And honestly, like, it was so worth it. Like, I started off with going just twice a week, doing one class, and, you know, finding the right instructors and all that, which, which can take a very long time, trust me. But... This is like the first time I really felt like I was in it, like committed. And it's been great. And before I knew it, I was taking like several classes in like in a week. And now I take, I easily can take two classes in one night, like back to back. Like, like I think like back when I was working, like that would be completely impossible. Completely. And now all my days off from work, I take like maybe three classes in one day. I could easily take four if I want to. I, I totally could. But if I want, if I want to. But anyways, I'm just saying that because I honestly like leaving my last job was the best thing for me because I, it forced me to really work on my mental health and take the time to find something better for me. So anyways, I'm glad about that and that's just an example of, now I remember why, <laughs> it's an example of me trying to make things work. Cause like, it was a job I really wanted when I got here and I finally have it. So like, try to keep that job and you know, like try to keep myself happy. So yeah. Anyways, I went up on a huge tangent. So yeah, that's just where I'm at. Um, I was gonna do a, maybe a December face video for this one, but honestly, I'd rather do that another time where I'm just more mentally into it. And honestly, like, even just talking, like, this vlog is still definitely an appropriate length. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it here. Um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to stop vlogging this. I definitely want to fin um, finish it off on a strong note. And honestly, like, if this is too stressful for me, even, like, during the second half, I just won't do it next year. I just don't want to like completely abandon it. And especially I know with other YouTubers, like they'll like, they'll like break down, maybe miss a day and all that. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to like really experience Vlogmas, like go all the way through. So yes, I, I apologize. This is a more lame video, but I don't know. I kind of just wanted to sit down and talk. And I feel like now is a good time, like halfway through so yes um if you watched all of this thank you and i guess i'll just see you for vlogmas day 14 yeah 14 all right well bye